What up everybody, my name is Jay Fox and this is the Major Looks channel. And today I'm going to be helping you appear a little bit more androgynous with these few tips that I have compiled, that I've put together. This may not be applicable to everybody because everybody has their own version of androgyny. And so take what you want from this video. If it does not apply to you, then just keep on listening. Maybe the next one will, okay? And if this whole video is completely useless, just know that you supported a black woman today. So was it that useless? Let's not waste any time, let's get into it. Get a gender neutral haircut. This is kind of the, the no brainer. You didn't even have to click on this video to get this, but I will say hair and the way that you do your hair or not do your hair definitely does play a big, big role um, on how your gender is perceived um, and how your androgyny is perceived as well. I've been seeing a lot of women doing more of those like kind of 70s shaggy haircuts. I've been seeing a lot of men growing their hair out, Bretman Rock, whether it's short, whether it's long, um, regardless of the length, get a nice little gender bendering ass haircut because honestly, we all could use a little bayang in our life. Non-traditional makeup as well as minimal makeup. This is one of those ones where it really depends on how you present now um, will determine which direction you go. I tend to fill in my brows here and there. I don't really do it all that often, but I'll fill in my brows and just making those darker features on my face just a little darker, just a little bit more prominent. Um, a lot of guys do the eyeliner. I still wanna be pretty. Like this is the thing when it comes to this androgyny shit. It's like, I don't wanna get lost in the sauce and I also don't want to lean too far into any aesthetic. I don't wanna to lean too far into the masculine or the feminine. Cause at the end of the day, I still wanna be cute. At the end of the day, I still wanna be pretty. And so I'm going to emphasize those things about my face that I like that are pretty. I'm going to emphasize those things about my face that are prominent or dark because I think that that's what looks the best on me. And I feel like that gives me the most balanced kind of look. However, I've seen a lot of people doing the more minimal or even um, different makeup styles. There are definitely techniques that we've borrowed from drag culture. There's techniques that we've borrowed um, from drag king culture as well. It's just to figure out those things, those pockets on the face that are innately kind of masculine and also innately feminine and figuring out the best way to kind of, you know, manipulate the, the those appearances. I think that this is honestly one of the more creative things that you can do outside of clothing to appear more androgynous. Next Next up, wear neutral colors. The way that we view color is very gendered. Pink is feminine, blues and greens are masculine, uh, this, that, and so on, and such which, therefore, here, here in your honor, you know? Sorry, there's this fucking guy outside. He's got on a helmet and like one of those little bicycles, but it's only like one wheel. It's a nerdy Power Ranger in a parking lot. There's a lot going on outside right now, y'all. There's, I think I'm watching a sneaky link it could be a sneaky link. It could be a drug deal. I don't know. I just see two North Face jackets and I just get suspicious. You know what I mean? But when you wear more gender neutral colors, uh, it just gives you more of an androgynous take, an androgynous look because people aren't automatically looking at your outfit and assuming feminine or assuming masculine. Have both feminine and masculine parts to your outfits. I think that this is one of the ones that's hardest to nail down because of one, you have to consider your own aesthetic. Number two, you have to consider your body type. Number three, you know, you also just have to find things that you like and that can be a task in and of itself. But I think the, the great thing about having both feminine and masculine features to your outfit is that it makes, your, makes you just look more interesting. Um, I think that androgyny is so fun because it basically, you walk into a room and you just confuse bitches. Like you walk in the room and you literally challenge what people believe to be pretty or like what people believe to be attractive or anything positive or good, you know? Uh, I remember one time me and Jaden, me and my girlfriend, we were getting dinner or lunch and we were sitting by a window and there was a person that walked by and even though this person had like a masculine kind of 
spirit, they were wearing very flowy clothes. And so when they walked, the clothes had a lot of movement and shape, you know, as they walked. And then they had on this really big, like very structured hat and they like pulled it all the way down to their brow. Um, and literally when they walked by, me and Jaden just stopped because we were like, we don't know what the fuck just happened, but like we just saw an ethereal being just walk across the street and we stand. Like we stand over these goddamn pot stickers for like 10 minutes. But that's why I think just having elements of your outfit that are feminine, such as movements, such as uh, sheerness, such as um, like silkier textures, marrying that with masculine themes, such as structure, um, wool, uh, heavy duty fabrics, more menswear aesthetic type of vibes. Like when you put all of that together, it just creates a moment, drink it up. Okay, this next one's a little weird. I'm gonna have to explain myself, but that is to show some skin, but more specifically like being intentional about where you show the skin. I love a tank top. I love to have my arms out. And on women, it's a very masculine look to wear a tank top to have your arm showing. Um, however, to have like your butt out or your thighs out is very fem very feminine. And so when I say show skin, I'm basically just saying like show skin that highlights more androgynous features. Maybe think about the length of your shorts, maybe go a little shorter. Um, if you don't wear crop tops, maybe try one. Do something sleeveless, do something backless, things like that, Just be, just think about it. Just think about it. This is the most important one and I'm not gonna take too much time on it because duh, be confident. At the end of the day, you walk out of the house, regardless of all the work that you did, you gotta sell it. You gotta believe in what you're doing. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta like how you look and you gotta really be on board with the image that you're bringing out into the world, okay? When you are confident, it basically gets people on board with you. Not saying that we need a validation, but let's be honest, it feels good when you get it. Like, let's just be honest here. It feels good when you c get out of your comfort zone and you present differently and then it is received well. Like, let's not, let's not be dumb. Let's not play dumb. It feels nice. We don't need validation. Validation is not an important thing. Yada, 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 yada. Let's not front. When we get it, it's nice. Like if you walk into the room with your head down you're like, and your arms are crossed in front of you and your head's down and you're like in a corner by yourself, like no one's gonna see you walk into the room and be like, oh my God, what an androgynous being. I'm here for this moment. They're gonna think somebody get this bitch a sweater. Like that's what they're gonna think. So believe in yourself and be confident, sell it. Next tip is to try out different patterns and fabrics with clothes that you already know that you like. Instead of going for skinny jeans or skinny pants like you normally do, go for a straight leg. Maybe go for a leather pant and say you like button downs. Go for a button down that's floral. Go for a button down that has some sequins on it. Go for a button down that has tassels or um, fringe on it. And there are just certain fabrics that just read more masculine than feminine. I would say more masculine fabrics and textures would be like leather, denim and suede, whereas more feminine ones would be feathers, sequins, silk. And the very last tip that I'm gonna give y'all today is to just exist. I think that this is a bit different because not everybody has the opportunity to just exist. Like they kind of have to perform their gender a bit in order to uh, be perceived in the way that they want to, but literally take this for what it is, take what you want from it. But when I say just exist, I mean, don't go outside trying to be an androgynous person. If you've done your makeup how you want, you've done your hair how you want, you've got a fierce bayang and a suede jacket, like you have, you've done the work in presenting yourself physically in the way that you want, that's pretty much where you can stop. I don't think you have to then take on some type of personality or take on some type of um, responsibility of, of performing the androgyny. I think that you can just exist in it and that's fine. Really androgyny is, is a radical act. Um, and it's a radical act even when you don't do anything. Like it's a radical act if you just present it because we're breaking down gender norms. We're making, we're breaking down uh, patriarchal systems and all that such which and such forth and your honor and 
this end they're in. Uh, there's no one way to be androgynous. There's no one way to express androgyny. And so when I say just exist, I'm literally just being, I'm just saying be whatever your version is. Just exist. Don't try to be anything. Don't try to puff up your chest. Don't try to like switch your hips a little bit more. Like just do you, just be you. Cause that is enough. You've done the work. You've done your job. All right, y'all. That's it for me. All the ways that to, all the ways to help you become a more androgynous person to present a bit more androgynous. I hope that this helped you. We'll see y'all very soon in another video. My name is Jeff Fox. This is Major Looks Channel. And do not forget, wear what you want, wear what you like, wear it out. See you soon. These are civil rights crows. Um, I think, I think I, if you could, if anyone can explain to me what just happened, that would be great. Cause I'm scared. And I think a plague just started. So.